your membership, you do have access to templates that we've created to help you create landing pages without wasting a lot of time on the design side because we've done it for you. So you just have to put the content in. So what you would do is download your file and it will download a file called a JSON file. And I want to show you how you can use these in your website. So what you would do is there's two ways you can do it. So I'm going to show you the first way, which is in templates and saved templates. And what you can do is you can press import templates at the top, choose your file, and you can import that in. So this is the simple landing page that I've downloaded. Uh, you can see it's got a .json on the end, and I would press open. Import now. Click enable and import. And that would import that landing page in there for me. So we can see that that's now in. The other way you can do it is from the page direct, which either way, the next step you're going to do is you're going to go to pages. So if you've been imported it or not, the next step is to go to pages and add new. So we're going to add a new page. This is going to be landing page. Give it a name. So whatever your lead magnet is going to be, and um, whatever your sales page is, depending on what kind of template you're importing. And you would press edit with Elementor after. And then it's going to load up Elementor for us. So the first thing we want to do is turn this into a canvas landing page. So the bottom left, we're going to press settings and we're going to press where it says page layout and change it to canvas. And then we're going to press this little folder. And then you can see in my templates, if you imported it already, you would see it here and press insert. If you didn't do it that way, instead, you would press the plus arrow here, select the file just like the previous step and install it on. So then I'm going to press insert. And there we go. Now we can see it has put in the landing page already for us. It's already recolored the landing page as well, because this landing page, just to show you what it actually looks like on my side, is this one. So this is what it looks like on that website. But because we've already set our global colors up and our global fonts, it's automatically recolored it already to what we basically needed it to be. Job done. Whereas if you've not set up your global colors or it's a bit off because your global colors are in different places to mine, like your primary is actually maybe your secondary and stuff, then I want to, you basically just go around and you'd edit this out. Each template comes with its own video to show you what you can edit it. But I just want to give you a general overview. So if you was editing text, you'd just click on the text. Obviously, you would change the words. If you wanted to change the font or the color, you'd go to style. And under text color, you would choose a color or one under global, for instance. You can change the typography by pressing that little pencil, change the font, or change the size of the font here, and change if it's bold, etc. You can change the image by clicking on it and just press and choose image and uploading a new image. You can change the one of the hard bits to do is the dividers. So this bit here at the top. So if you click on the container by pressing the nine dots and pressing the style and go to shape divider, this is where you can see this waves brush. If I just change it to clouds now, you can see it's changed. Change it to mountains, you can see that it's changed. So if your template has something like that on, you will be told in your video anyways. And um, But that's where you'd edit this kind of stuff. So you've got bottom and top. Um, same as if you come into like the icon list again go to style and you can change the icon colors you can change the text but again each video will go in depth um, and when you've got a template it might be that you want more sections on it just scroll down and edit and add more to it that you want to do it could be that you have like a page up in another window and you can copy things across as long as it's on the same website so let's just say you liked this section you could right click copy so you could combine more than one template into another, basically. Right click paste. And there we go. We've got another section in here straight away. So that's how we import a template and how you can then play around with it. But again, all the templates will come with their own videos as well.